What do you want? Here to pull another last-minute swerve? No, actually the opposite. I'm proposing a gentleman's agreement. I'll be in Randy's corner, and you have your backup and yours. But let's agree to keep the others out of this. No one else from either side gets involved in the match. And you expect me to trust you? I'm not sure I can trust you either. But that's how these things work. Where is this even coming from? Our two sides have battled enough leading up to this. It's time to settle it in the ring, one on one. And after we made the switch to Orton, I was confident we could do that. He doesn't need any extra outside help. Do you? No, I don't. But if you're trying to play some kind of 11th hour mind games, it's not going to work. I'm taking your paper champion's title tonight. We won't have to wait much longer to find out, will we? See you out there. You know, this last minute switch to Orton actually reminds me of the time. I was supposed to face the British Bulldog on WCW Saturday night, but then his dog bit him, so I ended up facing Vader instead. But you rolled with the punches and ended up getting the win? <laughs> oh no, completely threw me off and I ended up losing in like 45 seconds. Again, you really need to work on your pep talks. To be fair, you've had a better part of a week to prepare, while I only had about an hour. It's much different. I hope so. It is different. And you are too. I've known that since the first time I ever saw you. You had it. That's something special that can't be taught. That separated you from the rest. Sure, there's been setbacks along the way, but they've only made you stronger and prepared you for this very moment. And now that you're at the finish line, they go and move it somewhere else. Big deal. You'll cross that line, too. It's what you do. Now go out there and win the bloody match. That was a lot better. Ah, you think so? I thought maybe it's a bit much. No, but the time for talking is over. Like you said, now I just need to go out there and win the damn match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It's the man who's here to beat the deadline. Only Randy Orton stands between the former Rock and the WWE Championship he's wanted for so long. Don't forget Shawn Michaels, Saxton. He's got just as much to lose as anybody. Nobody's got more to lose than the challenger, Corey. This could be his final match in WWE. This is it. Time for one man to fulfill his WWE destiny or kiss it all goodbye.
It's one of the greatest to ever lace them up. WWE Champion Randy Orton. Nobody loves the big stage more than the Viper, and it doesn't get any bigger than this. No, it doesn't. There's a reason Randy Orton will go down as one of the best to ever do it, especially if he adds one more SummerSlam victory to his resume tonight. It's time for a new chapter in WWE, but only one of these larger-than-life superstars will write it. Ring that bell. Introducing the challenger from Hackensack, New Jersey, weighing in at 219 pounds, the X Factor, The Lock. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, The Viper. The stakes could not be any higher. It is time for our WWE Championship match. The chaotic road to SummerSlam has all led to one of the most anticipated matches in WWE history. Randy Orton versus his former protege in an extreme rules match for the WWE Championship. But it's more than that, Cole. It's a match between a superstar who left WWE to find himself and came back to win a championship and a living legend looking to cement his legacy as one of WWE's all-time greats. And don't forget the greats joining them tonight, like Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels, who has as much to lose tonight as anyone. No matter how you look at it, this one's... Shoulders down now, is it enough to retain the championship? Strong kick out there. A truly impressive kick out this late. And he barely evades. And did you hear the impact of that? Big boy. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Basement drop kick. Big impact. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Nice takedown. The champ getting put on the back foot here. And that was an effective attack, guys. The Viper in bad shape here. This can't be how Randy Orton envisioned this match going. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. Kick. 
Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Top rope, putting it all on the line. Astonishing tight rope drop kick. the strike and he counters with the headlock backbreaker vintage randy orton orton's clearly in control now it looks like he's trying for a top rope hung ddt his opponent's doing everything he can to counter and here comes Shawn michaels with the assist but Shawn gets taken out and now the challenger has an opening Orton charges. Drop to hold into the corner. Meanwhile, all hell is broken loose at ringside. It looks like there'll no longer be a factor in this match. This is now truly one-on-one. -on -one. Or is it? Slade is here. What happened to the gentleman's agreement? It's out the window, clearly. The challenger's in big trouble here. KO by Randy Orton. What the hell? Did that just happen? Apparently, Slade hasn't gotten over being replaced. And that could be enough to end this. Orton kicks out. I thought that was it. So did the challenger, but it's going to take a lot more than that to put away the Viper. There's the swing blade. Basement drop kick. He went right into that turnbuckle. There's a wheelbarrow into the DDT. That's gotta be it. There's two. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Big impact. Scary pattern start to form as that upper area takes more damage. And that was a well-executed attack. And the gear finds its mark. With the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Big cross body. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Up across the shoulders. What's next? TKO. The title champion away and that's being proven right now more like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title this was the moment to capitalize on it that should have been the end he's back into the ring his offense is on point right now he's in non-stop attack mode Look at the look. 
look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Up the turnbuckles. What's he got? From the top. Diving. Double axe handle. Evil to reverse. Cuts under. Caught by the Pele. And more attacks up there. Could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. of his own. Yeah, Orton does not want to play around much longer. And Orton just getting more ruthless as this match goes on. Orton's clearly getting into that gear where he just wants to end things. And a basement drop kick. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. A uh, springboard. Boom! Right on target. That is tossing your own body around without Care, taking no account for their own well-being. He's thinking a steel chair is just what he needs to wreak some havoc here. What impact! Right in the kisser. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, that can rock you. Toss back into the ring. Facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. And back elbow creates separation. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter. Off across the shoulders. What's next? And we've seen blow after blow taken up in that area. Something needs to be done. He did it! Not only is he the new WWE champion, but he beat the death ride is officially here to stay. Not to interrupt the victory celebration, but Shawn Michaels is back, maybe to do that exact thing. It's over. You lost. Just give the man his due for once. That looks to be a small sign of respect for Michaels to the new champ. Maybe they can finally put all this behind them and move on. Much of the criticism he faced earlier in his career centered around his inability to work with others. So it was fitting that tonight, it came down to just him and Orton in the ring. One-on-one, -on -one, no one else to rely on but himself. What the heck? That's Sami Zayn! The new champion was just blindsided with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Is Sami cashing in? He is! It's official! We have a second impromptu WWE Championship match at SummerSlam. I can't believe this is happening. He beat the deadline. But he might not walk out of here champion. Might be witnessing one of the most electrifying cash-ins in WWE history at one of the craziest SummerSlams of all time. Sami Zayn has shot not only the brand new point for a hand for the championship. And he has the shoulder up before two. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. He's able to sidestep there. <laughs> Sami Zayn retaliates. on the shoulder. A backbreaker now. A oh, knee to the jaw. Standing moonsault gets all of it. It's hard enough to do a moonsault from the ropes, but standing next to your opponent? Now that's something else. <laughs> the challenger eating up some damage. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Whip, but Sammy reverses. Oh, the newly minted champion hit hard. And Sammy Zayn looks to capitalize. He's setting up for the Haluba kick. This could be it. 
Sami Zayn's shocking cash in. Sami Zayn can't believe it. He thought he picked the perfect moment to cash in. And there goes Sami. Thanks for coming out. And now the champion's faction has come out to congratulate their leader. We talked about how the champion wanted to do everything himself when he first got to WWE, but he wouldn't be experiencing any of this if he hadn't learned to be part of a team and eventually lead one. Some of these men may now be looking for an opportunity to face the new champion, but for tonight at least, it's time to soak this all in and enjoy the moment. And there you see Slade, who had his share of ups and downs with the new champion after being dropped from the title match tonight, but still making his presence known he may also be looking for redemption. But for now, it seems as if he's willing to give his former ally the respect he deserves. Good, because I don't think we or our champion can withstand another impromptu match. Let the man celebrate. He's earned it. He certainly has, Corey. Thank you once again for joining us at SummerSlam. Good night, everybody. Was he stubborn? Definitely. Like right up there with the best of them, including yours truly. And things definitely didn't go as planned. I mean, I haven't been in management for too long, but even I know it's not the intention to fire a top prospect and then go to war with them after they forced their way back into WWE. But at the end of the day, we trusted the process and the results speak for themselves. He lived up to his potential, didn't he? We said he was a future champion, and now he is. We weren't wrong. Did he color outside the lines a bit on his way there? Yes. But that's what the best artists do, and I respect that. I really do. Uh, sorry, but I wasn't actually recording yet. Do you mind saying all of that again?